Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the SVS Prime Elevations, which have been some of the most popular speakers SVS has ever offered. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then stick around and we'll get into it right after the intro. We recently did a full review of the SVS Prime Satellite 5.1 home theater system. And if you haven't seen that yet, we'll leave a card right up here in the corner so you can go ahead and check that out. In that video, we mentioned that SVS had also sent us this pair of Prime Elevation speakers for review. These are sometimes referred to as height speakers, but in actuality, they're much more. In fact, SVS refers to these as the most versatile home theater speakers in the world. Today, we're going to be putting that claim to the test by setting them up in a variety of configurations to see how they perform as LCRs and surrounds. But before we do that, let's see what you get in the box. Taking a closer look at the Prime Elevations themselves, you can see they're very similar to the Prime Satellites. And as far as I can tell, they use the same 1 inch aluminum dome tweeter with this metal diffuser, and the 4.5 inch polypropylene mid-range also appears to be the same. The cloth grill included with the Prime Elevations also uses the same pin and cup system as the Prime Satellites. But one really cool feature they added was a magnetic logo which gives you the ability to rotate it depending on how you want to mount the speaker. Around the back, we see more similarities between the satellites and the elevations, like the five-way binding post, a quarter-inch brass insert that's meant to be used with the included multi-angle wall bracket, and a one-inch rear-firing port. The Prime Elevations also come in three different finishes. Black Ash, which retails for $400 a pair, Panel gloss black, which you can see here on the Prime Satellite, and gloss white that our Prime Elevations came in, both of which retail for a price of $500 a pair. The main difference between the two is the sloped front baffle on the Prime Elevations, which is the main reason the speaker is so versatile when it comes to placement. This allows the Prime Elevations to be placed on ceilings, walls, entertainment centers, or even on top of front left and right speakers. And for those of you guys that want to see the specs on the Prime Elevations, well here you go. Alright, so with that out of the way, it's time to get these speakers set up for a listening test. We started by replacing the Prime Satellites with the Prime Elevations as the front left and right channels in our living room. And, because they each use the same drivers, they sounded every bit as good, if not a little better, than the Prime Satellites. With the biggest difference being the lower bass extension of the elevations. I assume this is due to the larger internal volume of the cabinet. Next, we wanted to see how this speaker would work as a center channel. So we put the prime satellites back in for the left and right channels and placed one of the prime elevations in the middle of our entertainment center. Unfortunately, we only have two of the prime elevations, so we couldn't test them as a complete LCR configuration, but they're so close in sound to the prime satellites that it shouldn't make much of a difference. And here, the prime elevation did a great job delivering clear, precise dialogue that actually sounded like it projected into the room a little better than the Prime Satellite speaker. This is probably due to the slanted front baffle angling up toward the listening position. Another great way to use these as LCR speakers is high up on the wall, maybe above your projector screen, shooting down towards the listening position. Next, we tested these as rear surrounds in a side firing configuration. I actually liked the way these sounded a little better than my Vandersteens, because the angle on the prime elevations projected the sound into the listening position a little better, as opposed to firing straight out into the room. 
Now originally, these were designed to be used as Atmos height speakers. So let's take a look at all the different ways they can be used to add height effects to your theater. First of all, they can be mounted near the top of your walls as Atmos height speakers in a down firing configuration. This is similar to the way that we mentioned that you can mount them as LCRs on your front wall, but in this case, you'd be mounting the speakers on the walls to the sides of your listening position or even on the back wall. The only drawback with these configurations is if your room is too big, none of them will work because you'll be too far away. In that case, you'd have to mount them on your ceiling to get the best sound possible. Another way the prime elevations can be used is by putting them on top of your existing front, left, and right towers for an upfiring Atmos setup. This isn't the preferred way of using them, and we usually don't recommend doing this, but if it's your only option, it's worth a try. SVS also includes a great mounting system for the prime elevations, which in our opinion helps to make them even more versatile. The mount is designed to securely hold the speaker in any orientation by using these keyhole brackets and pegs, along with a magnetic block that slides in between the mount and the ceiling to lock everything in place. I really like the fact that SVS included these mounts with the speakers because usually you would end up spending even more money for universal brackets if you bought speakers from another manufacturer. So in the end, we can see why the Prime Elevations are SVS's most popular speaker. They're affordable, they sound great, they look great, and they're extremely versatile. So I have no problem giving them my highest recommendations. Whether you want to use them as LCRs, surrounds, or Atmos channels, they'd be a great choice. We'll leave a link to these speakers on SVS's website down in the description if you want to take a closer look at them. And remember, if you're on the fence about them, you can always take advantage of SVS's 45-day in-home trial period and decide for yourself. All right, we want to give a big thanks to SVS for sending us these speakers for review, and we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about the SVS Prime Elevation speakers, go ahead and let us know down in the comments. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, have an awesome day.